Okay, so here we are. We're back downtown. And, uh, let's see if I can fix this real quick here before we slide out. Okay. We're back downtown. We're going to see what's happening downtown Reno, everybody. Whoa, it's windy out. This camera right here. I'm wondering what anybody's gonna think. Uh, these are the homeless people downtown on a Friday night. And we got the tourist people down here on a Friday night. And let's just see what happens. Should be pretty quiet out, uh, considering the weather and everything. But you never know. Right music over there. Blow up the window. So yeah, it is chilly out right now. There aren't a lot of people. The wind is blowing. And uh, yeah, for a Friday night, it's not very busy. So I moved to Reno in 1989, uh, following my mom up here. It was a little different from what I was used to in California. I was living in a real small town in uh, Southern California, Fraser Park, uh, right on top of the I-5, if anybody knows about the I-5 in Southern California. And uh, so, uh, Moved up here, the winters were a little bit longer, and of course I didn't, uh, I had to make new friends all over again, which always sucked, but uh, you know, you live and that's how you learn and you keep on moving and uh, you know, 30 years later here I am and I haven't lived in Reno the whole time. I've moved all over the world, uh, but I did buy a home here in 2006, so I, I'm pretty much rooted down now. Uh, before that, I was living in Germany. Uh, you know, before that, it was Arizona, Oregon. Uh, of course, I lived in California before. Um, yeah, that's about it. Some girl running. I bet you she's running because it's cold. Okay, so we're going to, uh, we're going to make a right here and go down to the river and I'll catch right back up with you. So we're headed back home now. Not much going on Friday night. Pretty quiet. Yeah, so now it's to... time to really put on my big boy pants and uh, do what I told so myself I was going to do when I came here. out here and, uh, Let's just see what happens. There's a uh, there's a guy that needs a little help here on the left-hand side. He's wearing a green jacket. Uh, let's go ahead and see what I do. The road's closed that way. Let's, uh, let's head down over here. It seems a little dark out. Let's head down over here and see if we can help somebody out here. What's this guy doing right here? This person is right there. Are you okay, sir? 
Sir, are you okay? After watching okay. this video now, uh, and saying he was unresponsive, he was unresponsive. that was stupid. I probably was. should have stopped and see if he actually needed help. At least uh, made sure that if he needed ambulance or the police, it's so easy. I could have just called. But instead, I got nervous, scared, and uh, drove off with my tail between my legs. You know, I'm being real honest with myself right now, which is good. So, uh, tell me, people, what would you have done? Would you have stopped and helped this poor yeah, guy out, or uh, would you have kept driving like I'm me? I'm not into making fun of anybody. Uh, it seemed like he was, you know, not having a fit. He was breathing, but uh, maybe he was just a little drunk or something. Uh, but, uh, yeah, kind of a strange situation seeing him down here. Oh, look at that big dog, big bulldog. The tuxedo on, how cool.